we got up to Zrika Shalobim Komo on page you sign on the bottom left, and we're talking about Psuei Karbonos. And there's a major machlokes about Shalobim Komo. The Mizbeach, from one perspective, is an entire entity. It's one heft, it's indivisible. And even if Lechatchila, the Torah requires in a particular Zrika that it be done on this part of the Mizbeach, above the Sikra, below the Sikra, but nevertheless, as long as you got the Tama onto the Mizbeach, Shalobim Komo, Kimakomo Dom. And the other man, the other says, Lav Kimakomo Dom. The man, the other says, Kimakomo Dami derives his conclusion from a Pasuk, and it means that the Mizbeach is a Mechapen. Mizbeach means the entire entity of the Mizbeach. Now, what is the status in the case of Zrikas Dam Shalobim Komo? If I hold Kimakomo Dami, not as far as the Kapora Sakarbon, but as far as the Achila. Achila, as we know, subdivides into two categories. There's Achila's Mizbeach, which is called a Murim. And then there's the Achilles Kohanim or Achilles Bailim in the case of Shlomim. We need a Zrika Bimkomo for two reasons. One to be Machaper and the other to be Mate the Bosom, whether it's for Mizbeach or for Achilles Kohanim. So the Gemara explains that even if I hold that Zrika Shalom Bimkomo Kimukomo Dami, that's only as far as the Kapara Sakarbon is concerned. Because the Mizbeach is one entity, came into Yigiyah Dhamma Mizbeach, Mizkapu Abayla. However, as far as the Basar is concerned, or the Emurim, Basar Fachilas Kohanim, and Emurim Fachilas Mizbeach, Nifsul, you need a Zrika Bimkoma to be Mata the Basar. Ulashita Sasover. Love can come above, but there's no kapara in that zrika. And la halacha, we pass in Rambam Perak, Ezmil, Chesulim, Mikdashim, Kim Komo Dami, which means that the Bailam will not have to replace this carbon. The carbon was Ola, the Bailam, the Shinko Vasam, and it was this kapar because the Mizbeach is Higia Damlin's Beach and his kapar Bailam. But don't even imagine taking the Basar and eating it or giving the Emurim to the Mizbeach to eat the Emurim. Now, if I hold Lav Kibakomo Dom, is there a possibility of collecting the Dom, which was, which was thrown in the wrong place in Mizbeach, and do a second Zrika to replace the first Zrika? That's a Machlokas in the Mishnah. According to one Mandi Omar, Yasfenu, he could take the down that was that was sprinkled in the wrong place, and he can reinstate or replace that zrika by collecting it. That's called yasfenu. It means that the first zrika was nothing. Again, we're holding that zrika shalomim komo lavshme zrika. It's not a zrika at all. So you have down. And it was never as Rika done at that time. According to the other Tana, you cannot gather together and do a repeat because the Zrika, although did not generate a Kapara, because it was Shalom Komo, but nevertheless it was a Zrika. It was a Zrika Psula. And that passes the Da because I'm holding Lav Kibikomo Dom. So in his language, he says that if you hold that there's no replacement Zrika, that's because Shebizrika Zu his Kayim Torah Zrika. Those are the last few words on page Yud Zion. Le'inyan she'ne yochel lizok z'adam v'mokom acher. Basically what he's saying is it became dam posel. And there was a Torah Zrika even though it's Shalom Komo and it's not Machapa. Af lishita sasover loyas feru. 
Lo nifsal hakarba makach. Again, the dam is possible, but the carbon per se, per se is not possible. Now, what's the carbon worth to you if the dam is possible? The answer is there still might be dam in the tzavar abeim. He could do another kabbalah sadam. In Nishar, Dam HaNefesh, okay, we have to know about five different categories of Dam. But now we're talking about that category of Dam that lends itself to Zrika on the Mizbeach. You can salvage the whole situation. Here we're getting so down. We're getting depressed. It says that Lavim Koma, that Shalom Koma, Lavim Koma. And we're saying that not only can't you be mad to the Basar, you, the carbon itself is not Ms. Kapper, and the person will have to bring a replacement carbon. And we're saying, Lo Yasfenu, according to this money, or you can't collect the dam. So it looks like finito. And it's a very, you know, I, I always like a story with a happy ending. This looks like a story with an unhappy ending. But the happy ending would be if there's still dama nefesh left in the tzavar Because the heft of the carbon itself was not possible. It's only the dam. Is yachol the kabbal. You can do a new kabbalah sadam. Ulizarko Bikashlus. Hopefully, Bon, the coin will get it right on the second time. But I have a question here. Am I reading too much into the text when he says, Yachalakablo, Vishuv Lizarko? What would be in the following scenario? He was Zorik Dam from the Mizrak, but there's still some Dam left in the Mizrak. The Dam that he was Zorik, Shalom Kom was possible, but what about the remainder of the Dam inside the Kli? In my mind, perfect. That, that goes without saying. That's upgrade. For sure, he can be Makayim, the Mitzvah Zrika with the, you know, with the Shirayim, the rest, the vestige of the Dam. The Chiddush here is that even if there's no Dam left in the Kli, he can go back to the Behemoth, the Tzara Behema, and if there's Dam left, he can do a new Kabbalah. But I don't need a new Kabbalah if there's still Dam in the Kli. But if you look at his language, he says, Yochel Kablo Vishub Lizarko. As if to say the original Kabbalah Saddam was disqualified. But I don't, I don't believe that that's so. The Eina Nechshevis Kizrika Shnia, Mishum Shevizrika Rishona, Eina Zrika Mechaperes. Normally, we will not recognize two Zrikos, but that's only because the first Zrika was valid. Here, the first Zrika was not valid. And we're holding Shalom and Komo. Love Kimakomo Tommy. And therefore, since we don't have a Zrika at all, the Dam Nefesh in the Tsara Behema lends itself to a Zrika. It's not what you call Shirayim of a Zrika. Shirayim of a Zrika would be like a second Zrika, which is completely out of the question. And here he quotes the Chafetz Chaim. That was my case. Honestly, I don't know why you need the Chafetz Chaim. It's a Kabbalah It's not like the Chafetz Chaim is being Machadish. Oh, let's push the barrier even further. On the contrary, Taking Dam from the Tzavar Behemoth, that's pushing it further. Because now you're going to start with a brand new Kabbalah to replace the first Kabbalah, which ended up in naught, in a null set. As far as the first Kabbalah is concerned, if there's Dam left, get it right and be Zorik Ibn Now we have a concept called Kulto Mizbeh. All right, this, this is challenging. The Mizbeach 
has a magical power to it, which is called im olu lo yerdu, otherwise known as klitas hamizbeach. You've got psulim. They were brought on the mizbeach. They should not have been brought on the mizbeach, but post facto, the mizbeach is kole. It somehow grabs onto the psulim and it won't let go. So that now you can achieve a kapara with psulim. That's called him olu lo yerdu. Nechluku rishonin, imahu mishum sham mizbeach makadesh psulim, that this magical power of the mizbeach, by the way, what does this remind you of? When you could be makadesh apostle. I'll give you a hint. What am I pointing to? Filler? Say it louder? Fillin. Okay, so but fillin is like a spin-off of a of a higher kedusha. What kedusha am I talking about? Of the tzitz. Excellent. The tzitz. Remember ah. the magical power of the tzitz. You brought a carbon bituma, and a, a carbon bitume is bitume is is possible, and yet the tzitz is marata creates a ritu. Again, within certain, you know, confines. And now we're saying the Mizbech is like the Tzitz, that it can turn a puzzle into a, into a kosher. That's called Mizbech Makadish Psul. As a result, Lo Yerdu. Continue with the process of Havas HaKarb. Now, he mentions a sugya in Zvachim on Pei Gimel of Rabbi Gamliel, called him Olu Lo Yerdu. And if we're saying that the Mizbeach is Makadish Psulim, then basically we are reflecting the sheet of Rabbi Gamliel of him Olu Lo Yerdu. Which is a shita that's predicated on klitas hamizbech and mizbech smakadish psulim. But now he suggests a whole other approach, and he says it's not that mizbech is makadish psulim. It's an entirely different halach. It's halach of klitas mizbech. Even if I hold him olu lo yerd. Nevertheless, I can still maintain Klitas Hamizbeach. I'm assuming that Klitas Hamizbeach, which is now being reconciled with the man, the who says that Olu Yerdu. Is based on the halacha of shalomim komo kibim komo done. Because if I hold shalomim komo lav kibim komo, so I'm not accepting klitas amispei. Once again, you know, I've said this over and over again. It's coming out of your ears. The certain ambiguity here. It's, it, pedagogically, it's not crystal clear. Where does he mention? Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. 
Let's go back to your design. Maybe we missed a, a an important piece of the puzzle. It's not his fault. Maybe it's my fault. We're at the bottom of your design. And we're holding Loyas Penum. He efshal less of Esadam Yalam is there. Ulizarko should be Bikomo. He shouldn't say Kolte is there. Kolte is there. So cult him is bear <coughs> means that even though Shalom Como Lavkim Como Dummy, and as far as the Kaparsa carbon is concerned, we cannot effectuate it by defining the Mizbeach is one entity, but nevertheless, there is a relationship between the Mizbeach and the Dam in Shalobim Koma. And that's going to be called Kolte Mizbeach. Might have to be a Kolte Mizbeach. Lo Yasfen. The Mizbeach, again, I don't know exactly how it works. It's a funny kind of thing. It's it's a negative, not a positive, meaning Kolte Mizbeach is going to preclude a second Zrika. Second Zrika because of Kolte Mizbeach. And it's without the Kapar Sakkar. How does that work? If you're going to say it works, what's and what of Kicho Mizbeach? Mizbeach is Makadich Pesulin. Therefore, what? It's only a negative cube. It's a Kiddush Lipsul. Lipsul. We had this in the Mesech a kiddish lipsul, which means that the dam is possible, but there's an element of kiddush in the dam, which simply locks the door before the possibility of repeating the zrika. So now we have to figure it out. Is it a reflection of him alu lo yerdu? Or it's independent of him alu lo yerdu? I hold, if I identify Kolte Mizbeach with him Olu Lo Yerdu of the Lil Shita. Then what I'm saying is that since the Psulim were on the Mizbeach, we have to we have to do we have to do we have to complete the Akrava the the Akhara, and Lo Yerdu. That concept of Klitas Mizbeach, which again manifests itself in a Olo Yerdu, that is going to lead to the conclusion, the application of the principle of Lo Yasmen.
One second. Of lo yaspen. Why? Because a zrika on the mizbeach registers. Because mizbeach called it. And we see how powerful the mizbeach is that him olu lo yerd. So that klitas mizbeach means that you have now a zrika psula and dam posul, according to Bani Omer, lav kim komo dami. And you don't have the option of, re, of repeating that zrika. And paradoxically, that's because Mizbeh Kolte. Normally, Mizbeh Kolte means something positive that we can still salvage the carbon, even despite its soul. But here, it works in the opposite direction. Because since we're holding love, Kim Kobo dummy, then there's a psul that prevents and blocks the kaparsa karma. I let me collect the dam and repeat the performance with the news we can get it right in the right mako. The answer is Mizbeh Kolte. The Mizbeh Kolte is now a negative factor that blocks the po possibility of Asifa Saddam with the new Zrik. However, we can interpret Litas Mizbeh in a different way. And it can be reconciled even with the Maniomer that holds him all low year. So we're not talking now, Mizbeach Kolte, about the positive impact of the Mizbeach when Psuli Karb and Psuli Mikdasha were brought on the Mizbeach. No, we're talking about Mizbeach, Mizbeach Kolte in the sense that the Mizbeach is not going to forfeit that um, once it was received. And therefore, we don't allow a repeat performance of the Zrika the same time. Again, I will say this whole discussion has nothing to do with Dam Hanefesh that's still in the Tzavar HaBehema. Because again, we cannot overemphasize the fact that this soul in Zrika Shalom Koma was not in the Chefta, in the, in, in the carbon itself. So let's talk about two different scenarios of Shalobim Kom. There are two Mizbechos. There's the Mizbech HaPnimi in the Heichal and the Mizbech HaChitzoni, Mizbech HaNechoshes in the Azor. That would be one type of Shalobim Kom. Let's say you had Chatos Pnimios, that the Dam was meant to be designated for the Mizbech HaPnimi instead. He, he was Zorik the Dam on the Mizbech HaChitzon or vice versa. Then you have a different Shalom and Como, which we spoke about before, where the Dam was supposed to be Lamala, and instead he was Zorik Lamata, or vice versa. So now we're going to say the following. That the whole issue of Yasfenu or Lo Yasfenu only applies...
in a case where he was Zorik the Dam on the wrong Mizbech. He was Zorik the Dam on the right Mizbech, just in the wrong place on the right Mizbech. Oh, I got it. What he's saying is the following. That if the Zrika Shalom Ko is on the wrong Mizbea, then one can extensively argue Yasfen. Because the Zrika on the wrong Mizbea is not a Zrika. The Dam is still, so to speak, alive and well. In potential. It's got to get it into the right despair. But when you know, the wrong despair, this is garnished. It's nothing. Where do we have a man? The other who says, Loyas Menu. That's in the case of Lamala Lamato, Lamato Lamalo. Because in that case, you really do have a Zrika on the Mizbeh. You're on the right Mizbeh. Again, the wrong part of the right Mizbeh. And now we're going to say Loyas Menu. No way that you could repeat that Zrika if it was a Zrika Psula with Shalobim Koma, it was Lamala instead of Lamat. So, one man, the other is going to say that Lo Yasfenu applies. In the case of Lamalamata. And if you hold Yasfenu, then even in the case of Lamalamata, you can re repeat these Zrika. But the other Madhyama says, then in the case of Lamalamata, everybody agrees Lo, y- Lo Yasfenu, because that's intuitive. You, you have Matana. On the right, Ms. Bayah. And it was Shalobim Komo, which is Lav Kim and Komo, though. And therefore, Lo Yasfen. Why? Because it's on the right, Ms. Bayah. But there was a Psul in the Zrika, it was. Shalobim Komo, Lamalamata, is then in such a case, since it reached the right Mizbeach, everybody would agree that Lo Yasfen. He doesn't tell you which Amoraim hold which way. Okay, then. So this is where we'll stop for today. Just uh, make a note of where we want to start on. And then, so that's as far as that.